Welcome to Hawk's Eye View. Today we're going to be going through and checking out a couple different skins that I went through and applied to my Steam Deck. While the video is playing about me going through and applying these different types of skins, I want to talk to you about what I've been going through and doing with my Steam Deck. So the awesome part is that I was in the first batch of folks to get theirs in hand, which was great. Being able to unbox it, be able to use it, uh, the fact that you're able to go through and use it for so many other things other than just the gaming side of the house is awesome. So being able to put Linux applications on there and run was amazing. Uh, being able to try out a whole bunch of different games has worked out pretty well. Now, I got the 256 gigabyte edition one and I ended up getting a 512 micro SD card back when I got the Steam Deck and I found out that I could install about 15 games between both the internal storage and the micro SD card, which was nowhere near all of my games for Steam that were the Steam Deck compatible. So over time I was waiting and I ended up getting on Black Friday one of the one terabyte micro SD cards from SanDisk. I'll put a link in the description below. So then you're able to pick one up as well. Now, along with this, it took me a little bit to figure out which type of skins I actually wanted to apply on my Steam Deck. And for Christmas, I actually ended up getting this one that you see me applying, which is this awesome cyberpunk version that I was able to put on. So I ended up going with the cyberpunk version there on the back and on the front, but then on the handles, I ended up going with the D brand uh, matte finish because honestly it feels and it looks just like the uh, just regular Steam Deck controller handles which feels pretty decent. So I wanted something to be able to protect my Steam Deck. I've not been doing a lot of traveling with it because I've only gone out of state once with it. Otherwise I'm pretty well at home. So going back to the micro SD card and filling this bad boy up I've got let's see how many games currently installed now. Going to the library I've got 29 games installed, including Ace Combat, Apex, uh, Borderlands 2 and 3, Crash Bandicoot, Crisis Course, Final Fantasy VII Reunion, Cyberpunk, Death Stranding, Final Fantasy VII's Remake, uh, Final Fantasy XV, Windows Edition, All the Jackbox Parties, Just Dance 2017, Kung Fury, a fantastic handheld game if you want to play, Left 4 Dead 2, Lego Brawls, which I have had a blast playing with my kids to where we hook that up to the deck, hook that up to a TV, and then hook up a couple different controllers, whether it's PlayStation or Xbox controllers. They can handle three, four controllers, no problem. So Lego Brawls is amazing because it can have actually up to four loki local players all playing on the same screen, which is great. You've also got Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, which I just picked up when it was on the Steam sale. Uh, Ruby Grim Eclipse. If you've ever heard of Red vs. Blue, the same folks who made that, which were folks who made uh, the studio's name is Rooster Teeth, they had an animated series called Ruby. Great show. They also made a video game. Uh, then you got the classic Team Fortress 2, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, Valheim, The Witcher 3, and The World of Haiku. So those are all installed and running. On the non Steam games side of the house, I've actually got the application called Boxes, which allows me to run virtual machines on my Steam Deck. So I ended up adding it as a non-Steam game on the desktop mode, and now I can access that on the Steam gaming side of the house by launching it as an application. I've also got Brave, VTOP, Google Chrome, Minecraft, Podman Desktop, PolyMC, which was the other way for you to go through and play Minecraft in the early days, and then Romania Remote Desktop Client where I'm able to go through and use my Steam Deck as a thin client to connect to Windows or Linux OS's with a GUI, which is kind of cool. So, had quite a bit of fun with it, um, installing different applications and running, but to be honest with you, I originally bought my Steam Deck so I could go through and just throw Linux onto it or throw alternate operating systems on it and make a great little penetration testing box. This thing is so awesome when it comes to the gaming, and how much of the Linux side is accessible already, I have not gone through and done that uh, because it's just so available now. So you can literally hit the Steam button on there, go down to power, and then from the power, switch over to the desktop mode, and then within 10 seconds, you're over running Arch Linux with a snapshot, and you're able to be running the KDE desktop environment. 
I prefer Gnome out of the box, but KDE is great because of all the widgets that are going on. And then you can go over to FlatHub and install as many flat packs that you'd like. So if you're familiar with Ubuntu, usually you go through and install things via a PPA, or if you're more of the Fedora side of the house, you can go through and install things via an RPM. Well, the cool thing is Flatpak, doesn't matter which Linux operating system that you're running, it will let you install it and run it. So it's uh, Linux application agnostic. So it's amazing, go find an application that you like there and just keep on installing and rolling on. And it'll also go through, once that's been added to your uh, repositories, it'll go through and check for updates for those applications. So it's really straightforward, love it. Definitely go check it out. If you're more on the sysadmin side of the house and you want to be able to control your Steam Deck, uh, you could also install Cockpit onto your Steam Deck to where it's accessible via port 8080, and then you can do common sysadmin tasks from it. So lots of fun, very cool. Uh, also been playing with a couple different hosting or, or uh, mounting brackets on the back to be able to put additional gadgets or batteries or additional antennas. So that's been fun printed off a couple different Steam Deck holders like you saw at the beginning of the video and then they finally came out with Steam's official Steam Deck controller which sits pretty solidly inside which is great. So along with that hey this has been a great little device I go through and suggest it to folks and the fact is that it's got 16 gigs of RAM it's, you got a decent Linux device. Now, I will say I had some issues when going back to the video here. You can actually see how the sticker was not going all the way around. I will say personally, the dbrand side, when I was going through and using the low heat on getting these corners, the first one went on pretty easily compared to the second one, um, which I ended up cutting the recording for. It took me way too long. Um, but you can see the finish comes out beautifully. Now, that's when you go to the other side. The other side ended up taking me like 20, 25 minutes and I still wasn't quite happy with how it turned out. So uh, I ended up changing it from the low heat to high heat to see if that helped at all. And I will say that things melted faster, which is great, but just take your time and reapply it if necessary. I will say the Mosquito Cyber Deck sticker was a lot easier to apply than the D brand, which is a thicker material was to apply. So use your best judgment on if you need to use high or low heat. So when we're going through and applying the front, uh, you can go through and make sure that you fold this back to where you're going to align to the screen where the sticker is. And I'll also have links in the description of both dbrand's videos on how to get up and running applying these stickers and uh, this other gentleman who has gone through and created this front sticker. Just like this, you can lift up this bottom piece and then you're out clean. So then just take your time, align it to the bottom, try not to stretch it out too much. Twisting is going to make the screen look a little bit off one way or another, so just do the best you can there. And then here you're gonna make sure that you're pressing your finger near the top and the bottom edges to create that crease. And then you'll use the hair dryer to go through and melt that around. Cool deal. Well, going back to uh, the applications and uses of this, um, I've been using it as I think what it was intended for. The gaming controller is amazing. So have tried to go through and use the dock a couple different times on a handful of games. It works out great. Um, I suggest it to folks, especially if you're looking for something with the display port out, because most of the other ones that are out there on the market are just HDMI. You can see on this side how I wasn't quite happy how this applied. With the high heat on this side, it actually started giving more, which is great. Um, but, I mean, you are literally heating up not only your fingers and the plastic, but you're also heating up your device hotter. So the low heat seemed to work pretty well, at least on the first side. And on the uh, cyber deck, or the cyber deck skin, I uh, was able to be heated really easily with the low, with uh, thicker stuff from dbrand. It took some more heat. So with that, if you are interested in uh, getting a Steam Deck, you can pick one up now. 
they're shipping them the same week, so that's fairly awesome. If you have anything that you want me to go through and try on this, leave a comment below and I would be happy to follow up. Either go try to play a different game on there if I've got it, or try something else new on here. I've also seen other people go through and just flash the Steam Deck with other operating systems, so let me know if there's a specific operating system you want me to try on this guy. They also make a skin for the Steam Deck dock, which is amazing. It went on very easily, and it matches the same theme as this guy. I love that this plugs right in here. And being able to take this on and off fairly easily with just that thumb and being able to do a single handing thumbing it going up is awesome. I will say this looks sick. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And if you're looking for a skin, go check any of these out. With that, I hope you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time around.